Hi, I'm Dal Channa and I am the interim CEO of Movement to Work. We are a not-for-profit coalition of UK employers, youth outreach organisations, training providers and government allies. And our aim is to level the playing field for disadvantaged young people and to deliver meaningful and valuable work experience to those who are furthest from the job market. We've delivered over 95,000 placements across the country and we work with some of the largest employers in the UK, including National Health Service, the Civil Service, Tesco and Marks and Spencers. Movement to Work employers deliver 14,000 work experience placements for young people each year. But we know that up to 20% of the places they offer don't get taken up. Last year, we challenged JP Morgan's Force for Good program to build a tool to show areas of the country with high levels of youth unemployment. The Impact Map was a very important project for us. We are in the process of expanding out of London and the South East and are focusing on regional progress in the West Midlands, North West and North East of the UK. We are very interested in understanding the local socio-economic context and this understanding helps us in turn to deliver valuable work placements and pastoral care for disadvantaged young people from those areas. The impact map essentially allows us to look at this data, analyse it and understand it over periods of time. It's a dynamic tool that we're able to share with our charity partners and with our network and provides that really, really important local knowledge without which we would find it difficult to be able to measure the impact of our work in a meaningful way. As a member of Movement to Work, we've not only been kept informed throughout the whole design and development process, but we've also been asked to actively test and offer feedback at various stages. And I think that really means that the resulting impact map is genuinely going to reflect the needs and the wants of us as employers and the youth groups and the job centre teams who are part of Movement to Work. Being able to identify areas with higher numbers of unemployed young people means that we can target locations specifically to run our programmes and really tackle the need where it is the highest. And being able to see where other employers have recently run programmes or are going to run programmes in the near future just prevents us from overcrowding a space. So, you know, I really do think that we'll definitely be using this map to help plan the locations and timings of our programmes in the future. One of the most important parts of the project was being able to offer our employers and our partners the chance to test an app and to offer their feedback. The JP Morgan team organised a hands-on testing session at their headquarters. A few weeks later, we were able to launch a test version of the map on our website for anyone to come and try from across the country and then tell us what they thought. I personally come from a technology background, but when I came across the impact map program with Movement to Work and Force for Good, I was really impressed with the agility with which the team worked, uh, how quickly they were able to absorb new requirements and to develop quickly off the back of user feedback. And most importantly, I was really impressed with the desire to create a piece of technology that will help us in years to come. This is an innovative tool and we are very, very excited to be able to use this to fulfil our mission in the future. The Force for Good team have delivered an incredibly powerful tool for our employers and our partners. For the first time, they can see the parts of the country where young people have been hit hardest and they know now where they can offer opportunities of work experience so that they go to the places where they're needed most.